What's up travelers, SJ Aviationetsky here, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing the model review of the Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER by Phoenix Models in the FIFA World Cup 2022 livery. Um, but first of all, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like the video so far, give, do, do consider giving a like. Then that bell icon, so that's the subscribe button so, so you don't miss out on any future videos. And yeah, uh, make sure you share it to your friends. And let's get some, some some support going for the channel. So before we go ahead and check out the box, which you can see in front of you, I'm going to be reading out some information about Qatar Airways, and then some information about the aircraft. So Qatar Airways is the flag carrier of Qatar, and was founded on November 22nd, 1993, and began operations on January the 20, uh, that was January the 20th, 1994, based at Doha. Doha's Hamad International Airport, Qatar Airways operates to over 150 destinations across Asia, Africa, Europe, the Americas and Oceania, using an aircraft fleet consisting of 229 aircraft, including 83 of the Boeing 777s, which includes 9 Boeing 777-200 Allars, 48 of the Boeing 777-300ERs, and 26 of the Boeing 777 freighters with one Boeing 777 on order and soon to be delivered, which is the um, going to be their first Boeing 777-9X. Have, have done a review of the Boeing 777-9X in the red sun, sunrise livery. If you want to go and check that out, top right corner there will be a card leading you to that video. And this is, of course, is the second time I've um, done a review of a Qatar Airways aircraft. Of course, I did the model review of the Airbus A350 by NG Models. Want to go and check that out as well? There'll be a, a card in, in the top right corner uh, pretty soon. So do, do, do go ahead and check it out um, if you want to. So now uh, proceeding to read out some information about the aircraft itself. The MSN number or the manufacturer's serial number of this aircraft is 43215. The line number of this particular aircraft is 1218, which means this aircraft was the 1218th 777 to roll off the, uh, the protection line at Boeing. This aircraft is a Boeing 777-300ER, the second longest um, uh, variant of the Boeing 777 family, of course, uh, second only to the Boeing 777-9X. Particularly, this aircraft is a 3 Delta Zulu ER because Delta Zulu is the Boeing customer code for uh, Qatar Airways. Um, this first, the first flight of this of this aircraft took place on June the 26th, 2014. Um, as of today, which is June the 29th, 2021, for those watching um, in the future, is seven years old. This, of course, this aircraft um, uh, turned seven only three days ago. So, uh, happy birthday to this aircraft. Um, so this aircraft was produ uh, built and produced in Everett Painfield, and the airframe is currently active, which means that aircraft is currently flying around the world. The registration of this aircraft, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the box, is Alpha 7 Bravo Echo Bravo. Again, this aircraft is a Boeing 777-300ER. This aircraft was delivered to Qatar Airways on July the 22nd, 2014. This aircraft is equipped with two General Electric GE115 Bravo engines. Um, this aircraft was ferried between Painfield and Doha between the um, the 22nd and 23rd of July 2014 on delivery on this delivery flight, and this aircraft was painted in the the FIFA World Cup 2022 livery um, in November of the uh, November of 2020. Um, going back to the engines, I don't uh, may have um, mispronounced it, but if I did, this, air, this aircraft is um, equipped with two General Electric GE90-115 Bravo engines. Um, so as you can see, this aircraft is in the FIFA World Cup livery, um, the second of the FIFA World Cup liveries, because um, I believe uh, Delta, uh, Alpha 7-Bravo Alpha X-Ray, which is another uh, 777 by... Um, uh, uh, Qatar Airways that is in their their first FIFA World Cup livery, which is actually different to this one. Um, but this 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 particular livery is uh, also on Bravo Echo Charlie, which is the second triple uh, seven uh, delivered after this one, and I believe it's going on a triple seven hundred LR. I believe that one's going to be Bravo Bravo India, and I believe it's also going on a an A three fifty 
uh, one, uh, I think it's a 900, either a 900 or a 1000, but either way, I will be getting that, that 350 because this livery is absolutely bomb, I mean, it's absolutely epic. Um, so, so now that with the information out, out of the way about the airline and also the aircraft, let's go ahead and check out this awesome bo box art of the box. So here in the top top corner of the top of the box, we have the Boeing 777-300 trademark titles in the middle of the box we have the the awesome 2d rendering of the qatar airways 777 300er in this awesome livery um here we have bottom left corner we have the qatar airways lo uh, logo in uh, english and of course arabic here we have the registration again alpha 7 dash bravo echo bravo in this aircraft as a wonderful under scale on the bottom panel, we have the warning information. This aircraft is not suitable for children under 14 years of age. Here we have the barcode with the item number 04370, and this aircraft is made in China. Here we, on the right panel, we have the uh, 777-300ER trademark titles with the aircraft underneath. And again, we have the scale of the aircraft. And here we have the 777-300ER titles on the top panel of the box with the aircraft underneath and here we have the scale as well um, here we have the 777 trademark titles and the aircraft underneath which this this um this panel is basically identical to the other side and on the back we have the 777 300er titles again we have the fifa world cup uh, qatar 2022 uh, logo then we have the qatar airways uh, logo with the registration and again, we have the the, uh, the scale of the aircraft. One thing I didn't mention is that uh, this the colouring of the box of this panel, and, and of course the other side. This here is actually the flag of Qatar, which I think is absolutely stunning. I, I, um, the box art on this box is absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, I mean the the, the lovely usage of. Um, the burgundy and the and the pink and the and the and the maroon, absolutely beautiful. Um, gotta say this is pro probably one of the best box arts I have in my collection. Um, of course, Phoenix Models is known for their for their box art designs. Uh, I did actually mention this in the um, the review. I believe it was of the Qantas A380. Uh, I want to go check that review out. Uh, top right corner. Um, Right about now is where we can go, um, leading you to the video. Uh, I mentioned in that video that the, um, this box art was one of my favourites. I've got to say it is one of my favourites. Um, yeah, so with that uh, information read out about the airline and the aircraft and the showcasing of the box, let's go ahead and check out the model. And here we have the absolutely stunning Qatar Airways 777-300ER by Phoenix Models in the FIFA World Cup livery. Must say, this is going to be one of my favourite models in my collection. Um, in terms of look, in terms of special liveries, of course we can't. I can't. I would. I would never go past Black Beauty, the um, the engine seven eight seven dash nine. I have done a review of that model. Go check out the 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 card in the top right corner. But yeah, I would. I would never disregard uh, Black Beauty at, um, and and top that as a favourite special livery. But uh, in, in terms of like. Special liveries. This has got to be up there with one of my favourites. Of course, I've done the green the review of the Green Liner uh, by uh, NG Models, the Etihad Dash Ten, and I've done um, the review. Uh, I can't really remember any other any other special liveries that I've done. I no, I, I believe I don't think that the the Boeing House livery is considered as a special livery, but I have to, have done a review of that um, seven eight seven. Um, Dash nine as well. I want to go and check those two videos? There'll be a, the the playlist of my uh, of the reviews that I've done so far in the top right corner. Go check that out, um, so that you can so then you can check out all of the the reviews I've done. So now in this uh, in this portion of the video, I'm going to be doing an in depth review from left to right, nose to tail, uh, go, showing you all the aspects of of this aircraft, and then giving you some information along the way. So let's go ahead and start the review. So looking at the front of the aircraft, uh, first of all, going to sh just put put the aircraft in the shop. Here we have, at the front of the of the aircraft, we have the nose cone. 
underneath that is the weather radar and an instrument in, in the cockpit um, where the pilots can can identify whether they're going to be travelling into any rough rough weather ahead or whether they um, uh, can decide to go around any any of the rough weather that, that is in their, in their path. Uh, be- below the aircraft, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I believe it's um, sort of like a, a nickname of the aircraft. Not quite, not actually sure what the nickname of this aircraft is. If anyone wants to let me know in the comments below, let me. Uh, do you you're you're um, welcome to do that. Um, here we have the pedo tubes and the angle of attack. Um, and here we have the nose gear door. Which has Echo Bravo on the on on it, and below that we have the uh, the nose gear itself. Here we have the L1 boarding door. Uh, of course, that is one of the two boarding doors on this aircraft because L2 is the second one. Here we have the symbol or the emblem of the One World Alliance, which I didn't read out. Uh, this aircraft, uh, this airline, Qatar Airways, became a member of the One World Alliance on October the 8th, 20, uh, 2012 with multiple aircraft in the one world livery including A350s and 777s. This is, um, the, I, I believe, one of their 777s. I uh, can't remember the registration of the aircraft, but I believe, um, yeah, it, it, it is a 777-300ER anyway. I believe it's um, Bravo um, Echo Zulu, I may be incorrect. And, I, and they have one with liveries on their 900s, 900s and 1000s variants of the A350. So moving down with the review, here we have the the Qatar Airways uh, billboard titles in uh, the in maroon colour, burgundy if, if you call it that too. Here we have the anti-collision beacon light on the top of the fuselage just here. With the SATCOM, which provides the IFE in-flight entertainment on board the aircraft. And then here we have the um, the the first antenna on top of the aircraft. So moving down the aircraft, here we have the aircraft's uh, name. Here we have an Arabic, I believe it's uh, uh, read from right to left. Of course, that says Qatar Airways. I believe it says Qatar or Qatar Airways. Here we have the L three um, emergency exit door with the uh, the arrows uh, down the the wing here. Here we have this size Goliath the GE90 115 Bravo engine with the the logo of Qatar Airways. I will give you give you some, some information about the logo itself when we look at the tail fin. But here we have the logo here, and then we have I believe it's just like a soccer ball uh, logo, which is actually on on the the logo for the FIFA World Cup. The actual you know the, I'll show you I'll show you in a, in a moment, but it's at the actual emblem of the World Cup. Um, but behind the exhaust, we have the the tri bogey of the landing gear. We'll show you a close up image of the landing gear in a in a short while. Uh, but first of all, let's let's continue with the focusing of the wing. In the middle of the shot here, if I'm able to um, zoom on it, if I'm not, I can't. But here we have in the middle of the shot, we have the right wing tip. With the red navigation light, and behind that we have the the strobe light. Of course, uh, the this is an um, an easy way to identify whether this aircraft is a 300 ER and not the basic 300. Of course, if, if it was the basic 300, the the wing would basically end about here. Uh, pretty hard to see from this angle, but um, and if, I mean. A lot of people uh, around the world mistake the the triple seven three hundred ER to be a three hundred basic uh, the basic model. Of course, the basic model also uh, powers the Pratt and Whitney engine, and of course, I believe they operate the, the Rolls Royce as well. This aircraft is not equipped with Rolls Royce or Pratt and Whitney engines. It is the GE nineties, um, and yeah, even though they may be the, maybe the same may, maybe the same length, they are different. They have a different uh, different wingspan. So, um, easy to m- mistake them, but e- easy to identify as well. Whether if you're if you're new to the the aviation industry. So moving down the aircraft, here we have the L four uh, door. I believe that's just that's used for catering, and here we have the the FIFA World Cup Qatar twenty twenty two um t- uh, titles or logo. 
Uh, just something you know, I believe it's this here, this little logo here, this little this little dot just at the end of the pointer is the one that was on the um the the engine. Which yes it is, that's correct. Um so just letting you guys know Qatar Airways um sponsors many uh, sport teams around the world including FIFA, um, FC Barcelona, AS Roma and the uh, 2018 and 2022 uh, FIFA World Cups and is the airline sp the official airline sponsor of the F the FIA Formula E uh, uh, Motorsport Championship. That's just some some insight of uh, of the sponsorships that this airline has. Of course, um, unlike the the um, the likes of Emirates which has many uh, uh, sponsorship deals around the world in t uh, terms of sport and, um, and, and other things. I mean, uh, very, very very nice to see these these airlines in the Middle East. Of course, Qatar Airways is, is known as one of the big three Middle Eastern carriers. Of course, there's Qatar Airways, Etihad, and also Emirates. Um, so it's good to see these, these Middle Eastern carriers having some impact in terms of sponsorships. So behind behind the cabin windows, uh, we have the L four L five door, and to the uh, to the top right we have the guitar the guitar flag, and to the top, uh, bottom right we have the registration Alpha seven dash Bravo Echo Bravo. Uh, and here we have the second antenna on top of the aircraft, and then we have the third behind. So looking at the tail fin, and the uh, so here we have the the base color of the of the tail fin we have in light gray and then right here we have which is known as the oryx uh the, which is the national the national symbol of the state of um of qatar and just like the kiwi is here in new zealand and and the bold and the bald eagle for the usa and the kangaroo for australia um this is the the, the national or actual icon or symbol or emblem of um, of Qatar. Here we have at the end, at the rear of the aircraft, the very rear, uh, the APU exhaust. Of course, this is this is called the auxiliary power unit, and this this is uh, this outlet is actually on on only on this side of the APU and not on the other side, which I'll show you in a moment. Here we have the horizontal stabilizers, and this 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 little dot here um, or two dots just here. Is the logo light, which um, lights up the tail fin during night operations. Um, I believe that's that's used for identification for the ATC or any aircraft in the vicinity of the aircraft. And of course, we had the leading edge of um, the the the, uh, the stabilizers themselves. Sweet. So now look, looking at the other side of the of the aircraft, um, just going to zoom out and show the other side. Not really that many uh, differences in terms of this side of the aircraft, of course, just sh showing you uh, close in a closer view. Just in the middle of the shot there, below the A, the second A, we have the forward baggage, baggage compartment. On the in below, or just here in the middle of the shot, uh, below the symbol there or the titles of Qatar 2022 is the 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 rear baggage compartment. And just below this, the actual emblem of the logo is in the middle of the shot. There is, is another baggage compartment. At the end of the wing, just here, may be able to pick it up. If I'm able to. No, I'll just put it down. And do it that way. There we go. There we have the green navigation light at the front, just here, and then at the rear we have the strobe light on the end of the uh, the right wing tip. Um, and then basically everything else is just flipped. Um, let's have a look at that at that nickname on the front of the uh, below the copper windows, and see if I'm able to pick up the nickname of this aircraft. No, that's written in Arabic. I can't. I won't be able to understand that. But um, yeah, do let me know in the comments below uh, what the nickname of this aircraft is. Of course, uh, I'm not really sure about what the what the nickname is of the aircraft. Here we have the intake of the engines, and now 
and of course this engine as well. Now let's look at the bottom of the aircraft, just momentarily. So here we have the, the nose gear door, and underneath the actual nose as itself is the 777-300ER titles. There's the, no, the nose gear itself. Uh, here we have the billboard tunnels of Qatar Airways on the on the actual belly of the aircraft, and in, in where the where the A is is the um, the stand hole, and and beside that is the beacon light. Here we have some nice details of the the landing gear doors and the air vents that are there to where the finger is there. Those two little things there are, little, are air vents. An antenna in the middle of the A there. That little rectangle, red rectangle, is the uh, the outline of the ram air turbine, or the rat, which is used um, in um, uh, testing. Just there is uh, an, another antenna. You may have to, maybe may be able to see that as a red one. Not sure why this is red. If anyone is able to let me know below in the comments, do, uh, why why that antenna is is red, uh, do let me know. And there at the end of the fuselage there underneath the um, the stabilizers is the entranceway for the APU. Some little scratch marks in terms of paint um, on where the, where the stabilizers actually go in. Um, not really, really sh um, happy about that, but I'm sure I'll survive. Some information, some uh, nice, nicely done detail of of the wing and the engine just there nicely done and the registration on the on this wing here alpha 7 dash bravo echo bravo so that's basically the review of the model um so before i go and go ahead and uh give you some information about the Total handles. I, I just want to give a, a quick shout out to Alexi um, that is in charge of Alexi Airport on Instagram and also YouTube for helping me with the acquisition of this model. Um, do go ahead and check out his, his new YouTube channel. There'll be a card in the top right corner right about now or in a few moments. Um, leading, leading you to his YouTube channel, go ahead and check it out. There will be a link in the description below also for his YouTube channel. And also go ahead and check out his Instagram page. Um, thank you very much, mate, for helping me out with this acquisition of the model. If you want to go and check out my so my social handles, go and check out um, my in my international airport page. Uh, focusing around uh, Asia International Airport, you can see in the background. Uh, what I do in there is I showcase um, uh, all my model aircraft uh, and photos. I also um, I host live streams of model releases and also the unboxings of new models um, and also I do live streams of um, I've shared live streams with other, with other people which is basically my new series in uh, in terms of Instagram TV um, and also I I, I hope I put polls on my, on my stories so I so I can see what people want to see on my in terms of models on my on my airport we're interested in checking that out and supporting me on there uh, first link in the description below the link below that will be uh, leading you to my Instagram page of which I showcase my livery designs. I make them on uh, Adobe Photoshop. I basically do uh, custom liveries on aircraft that airlines don't have. For example, the a Delta, a, I recently did a, 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 new, a new concept livery of a on the uh, Delta uh, A220-300. Um, yet to upload that on, on there. So if, if, but if you want to go and check, check out the, the page itself, second link in the description below. Uh, you want to come and, and join me and, and, a, and a whole lot of avid av geeks, aviation enthusiasts in a Discord server. Uh, do come along and join the Global Aviation Alliance. What we do on there is we basically talk about everything aviation, to, like bottle planes, aircraft deliveries, our favourite liveries um, on, in terms of, of colour schemes. Uh, our flight experiences and everything else in terms of aviation, avionics, and why we love aviation itself. If you want to come in, I'm going to join that. Do let me know in the comment section below, and I'll pass you, pass you along to one of the four admins where your application will be processed. Um, 
uh, I'm slowly but surely working on my airport f uh, airport's website, uh, a Patreon account, and also a TikTok um, account of which I will be showcasing my my models in a, in a different aspect and that I, that I do on on um on Instagram. Models to come, I am uh, soon to be um, acquiring, or basically I'm gonna gonna have the engine of. 124 by Gemini Jets, the Rex Airlines 737-800 by G Gemini Jets, and also the Royal Australian Air Force P8 Poseidon by Gemini Jets. They, all three of those were um, released in the most recent June release by Gemini Jets. Soon they'll be, they'll be releasing their, their, um, their July release, which I'm actually really excited for. But, yep, yeah, um, so, so now that they come to the end of the review, on, of the video, I want to thank you very much for coming along and and watching and joining me for this video. This, of course, was the model review of the Qatar Airways Triple Seven Three Hundred ER in the FIFA World Cup Twenty Twenty Two livery. Um, so, of course, if you like the video, uh, do let, do consider giving me a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, turn that bell icon next to the, next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Got a good, good lineup of videos coming up. Going to be doing some reviews of some A Three Fifties by um, Aviation Four Hundred. And um, possibly a review of some some new GSC that I that I recently um, acquired from my hobby house out of Malaysia. So on the left hand side is the is my most recent re, uh, my my most recent model review of the China Airlines Cargo Triple Seven Freighter by Gemini Jets. On the right hand side is the full playlist of model reviews that I've done. In the middle is where you subscribe. But until next time, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.